Hi and welcome, my name is Katrina and this is our Vampire the Masquerade stream, the interludes, uh, scenes that take place between the end of season 2 and the start of season 3. We are currently telling a story uh, called The Guest, that is a part of, uh, of the interlude, which focuses in on, on the story uh, of two of the players. And before we get going with this evening's episode, as per usual, I would very much like them to introduce themselves as well as their characters. Hi, I'm Marianne. I play Siobhan Fries. <laughs> uh, generation Toyado and Primogen. One day. One day. Hi, I'm Toye. I'm playing Christopher Masters, our 10th generation and true and prince of the city. And I know my name. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, like, if Marianne's going to know their name when we finish season three and everything's done. No, um, I will call myself self Porky Pork uh, or something. <laughs> that... <laughs> it's gonna be Porky Pork from now on. Uh, <laughs> she I, I don't get it. Named. It is what it is. It's tradition, uh, and uh, it would be very much like to, like a make a, <laughs> a compilation of all the time she said it wrong <laughs> and see how. No, how much... <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> it will be hilarious. Oh. Uh. Oh, good, good time. We should. Time. We could. Uh, it could be part of our bump parade. Bump parade. <laughs> or our bazooka. <laughs> bazooka, bat under the wing. Uh, and we're getting ever so closer to uh, the actual guests arriving. Um, we're nearly there, dear viewers. More we're people. There. Yes, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. It's gonna be so exciting. Can I not be home? That can I? Or oh. can I just watch? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you if you didn't want guests, maybe you shouldn't have made a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mic drop burn. But there you go. But I just want their blood, okay? No, oh. I. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's not. She's just, just gathering stains. I don't stains. want them there. No, no. She just wants sacrifices, cause you know she's she's a good. Sure thing, sacrifice. Norma Bates. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Oh no 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 no. That's that's a cardboard halo. Don't you dare even. No 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 no. I think it looked pretty innocent. Yeah 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 yeah. Don't fool me, girl. Till you notice the. Yeah, don't fool me. Goat's foot. Oh. On that note, the last episode. We ended it uh, as I am now uh, pushing you into uh, an another night. The storm has passed. The skies are clear. This mysterious weather event, whatever it was, uh, come, and, come and went. With, well, for some illuminating or not so illuminating uh, information and events. To trust strangers is hard and difficult. I Guests don't think bringing gifts either. at all. Or either. I don't or think or. either of our characters is very trustworthy. <laughs> no, and that's that's the part of the vampiric nature, in a sense. So we are we are right on theme. We're gonna start this evening's episode as Shiv wakes from her unnatural slumber. As she does a rouse check. With all her stains. Yeah, how do I do that? Do, do I do anything with my stains? Never. You have to okay. check if they go I away can't... or not. Yeah, but I can't remember. I haven't had stains for so long. I've been such oh. a nice vampire. Taya, <laughs> what do I do? do, do, do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they... But what is success? Tell me before I roll. Oh, okay. I was rolling number. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Again, I was looking at my notes. I said stain, and then and I write I like a doctor. Well, like, like I have, I have. Is this? Is this? Is, this, I love is, it is when that I the ink? Is that a, a success or not? That is a success. Okay. Yay. Okay. Whew. Thank you. Is that one stain or? You had one. I had two successes, but yeah. No, oh, well, oh, then oh. you lose all your stains. Okay. And then, uh, and then. Oh. 
Uh, it's ten, so that's fine. You're fine. And I eight from Eve's last time, right? I can't remember. I actually didn't write anything on my sheet. Yes, well, I had a little morning snack, I think, from Eve. I think so. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. I'm gonna be vanilla. No, I did. I Eve did. did. She did. She did. I did. Because I was three hungry at that point. So yes, I you were. Yes, I would have. I w- wouldn't have done. No, that is very anything. Good. As every evening, there's a slight knock on the door. Mistress. Hmm. May I enter? Yes. She goes in as per usual. Uh open up uh these big sun blocking curtains where there might be windows i'm sure there are some no they're none they're not it's a box there it's is box. none there, in no, there it, is none. it is a there's box none. yeah there it is an absolute box well she puts on the lights and uh she brings in uh, your basic assortments of your hairbrushes and makeup whatever you would acquire mm. and asks if there's anything she can do for you this evening Did I, sorry, this is off. Uh, did I get the video from Annan or was I supposed to get it from, I can't remember. I'm sh- we're going to go, I think I, it was given, I might be mistaken. Yeah. Well, we're going to yeah. play it as it was given to you. Because I think yeah. I said a, C- a, a VCR, but you would have a CD. So I think I said that because I said VCR yeah. and we're yeah. in like, yeah. we're modern, yeah, we're a modern band person in the late 90s, early 2000s. We do not know the VCR. We have DVDs. DVDs. So fancy. So fancy. Um, no, Eve, I think I'm fine. Unless you want to brush my hair. Of course. Of course, Mistress. It's a pleasure. I'm just thinking to myself, I'm sure it is. Of course it is. Many moments later, you are dressed in whatever attire you so uh, wish, and you are as styled as uh, the very fancy Torador you are. I think I will go and play my DVD, and I will want, at least, yeah, I want to watch the events of the ritual. And I want to see what happened. If there is anything funny in that. Uh, the quality is not going to be the quality you would get of uh, surveillance these days, as you obviously know. Uh, but the quality is decent enough so you can make out who people are. Of course, there will be a bit, a little bit, a little bit of pixelation, a little bit of grime on it. Uh, you you see the the, the Sam sacrifice. The lights glare weird. The candlelights. Anything else? It, 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 do I have Castor in that? Or is it just... He's out of view. It's like the camera's focused in on the center and they would like pull, quite pull back. Uh, mm. You see though, uh, Callisto uh, right outside. Uh, uh, not, she's, she's, still, she's actually inside the, the circle, if you like. Um, and she is uh, almost moving. Like, what, trend, like, almost, like in a trance clearly you're almost like saying something whispering something and sam all of his movement doesn't it reminds you of someone but of course it looks like sam mm. but is the movements of sam what i yeah. saw yeah yeah so yeah. moving perfectly as you remembered it and what about myself you seem like you. Okay. There's nothing in this tape that indicates more than that there is obviously he was cut. And in the end, when like the, the spell and the sense of ritual areas is broken, you see him dying. Thank you, in, Sam. In, in the lap of Callisto. Mm. And is there anything in the tape of after the ritual, after I've left? Yes, as long as you've asked for it, yeah. Um, you see he is moved a little bit, undressed. 
uh you see all of them are almost like uh, caressing him kissing him touching him uh, and then they wash him then uh, a plastic a tarp is put out and at this point you can actually do a, a compulsion okay interesting uh sorry Co um, just composure do you want composure with something else you could do um uh, do because wits. if it's only composure no, then you I, could do a wits no. composure okay. yes that is a little bit more than two dice which is yeah, that's three successes Or the, the the best of your understanding, what follows is Callisto is performing as close as you can think to removing the heart, the, the brain, and the lungs and the kidneys from him, and putting it into little uh, ceramic jars. Hmm. After that, each one of the congregation sits uh, in revere, kissing Sam's forehead and a piece of his flesh is carved off and, and given to them, and they consume it. It is, okay. both for you as the Torador, astounding. That maybe the, the, the artistic flavor of the ritual itself, but the part of Shiv that is still has a humanity to her is appalled. This is straight up cannibalism. Yeah. And the blood that was poured from him in the... Do they do anything with that? It doesn't... You can't see from that angle if anything is done with that. What is clearly most important is the specific organs mm. put into little brown ceramic jars. And Sam's other self is... He's not totally consumed. But great parts of him is being consumed. And in the end, if she dares and wants to continue to watch, the rest of Sam is wrapped up in the plastic top. I think she's seen enough. For now, at least. It is shocking. Yeah. But then again, you have seen some things. I mean... The night took her. But this I, is I, humans eating another human. Yeah, it's it's one thing about like us, and then it's like, sustenance. Like it's them. it's your way of t to sustain and to live. They do not need to eat. No, no, no. no. And it was just like, how much blood did he drink of shivs? Hmm. I think I'll just yeah. Stop television and then i'll just sit down and think about things for a little bit oh she oh. thinks about things for a little yeah. bit <laughs> uh, camera's gonna pan out purple boxes and aiden i think that's purple the boxes and aiden and human yeah. sacrifices and people eating people uh you know just just a regular evening in boston yep. uh, the camera pans out uh, and it enters uh, the master's estate as the young prince Wakes to another evening. Your body feels more movable. But. Yeah. I see this is road check. We'll do a road check and an extra road check as well to remove one point mm -hmm. of damage. A little bit hungrier. Yum, yum, yum. Hunger, hungry, hippo. Mm, just hungry. Um, away with that. Yes. Did you remove your stain? Were you successful? Mm, no, I didn't, I didn't. You didn't have I didn't a stain? Get, no, no. I, no, no. I, roast, uh, I roast the blood an extra time to get rid of damage. Oh, I got hungrier yes. for it. The blood did its work, but it was consumed. In it. Mm. Yeah, not staining. Yeah, wiggle, wiggle your toes. Wiggle your toes. <laughs> your arms are not functioning, toes. but... <laughs> 
you could still feel that your spine is almost like it's not it's not sitting well it's not firing your legs feel oh, i need a chiropractor um he gets out his little phone book lists and he finds the number for a certain private detective rosewood the man he empired to find uh, Cal over those, All those years, years ago. ago. See if he's still in business. Uh, then you hear uh, Rosewood. Ah, uh, Mr. Rosewood. I have a job for you if you're interested in locating a man. I'm always interested in a job. I can only give you the description. I have no name, but I'm certain you will be able to find him loitering outside uh, the Boston Public Library at some point of time. But I, I love a good job, but who am I speaking to? Your name is familiar, but I do not know. I recognize the number. Ah, uh, we well, you have a You're done not name. You said voice is familiar. Uh, yeah, we you have done a job for me in the past. It's uh, Falcone. Oh, Falcone. Mr. Falcone. Of course, yes. of course, of course, of course. Yes, the details. Uh, I give him the description of the man. He's, he's tall, so I'm gonna, the way he was dressed, the way he carried himself, but I remember his face. Uh, just take pictures of anyone matching that description and send them to me, and I'll see if I can identify which one it is. And I'll give you a feedback on the person and see if you can't find the person's name as well. Of course, of course. Uh, is this something you want me to get on immediately? Push any other yeah, projects Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pay four times your, average, your daily rate if you work exclusively on this until you have an answer. Uh, you had me at hello, sir. Excellent. Can I reach well, you on this hunting, number? happy uh, Yes, you can reach me at this number. Excellent. Uh, I'll, I'll get right on it. Great. He hangs up. And uh, then he takes his... Uh, Vampiric cellular phone, the one exclusively for vampire business. Vampire business. And um, see if there's any messages or anything overnight. Uh, you actually see that uh, Catalina Murdoch has uh, requested a meet. First the Queen of Bones, no the Queen of Bitches. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that you're the queen bitch. That's a difference. <laughs> yeah, but your personal goals helps you out because you yeah. so you cannot stand oh, yeah. and to get. Uh, I'll I'll uh, tell them to bring your message back to her. So she's most welcome to come if she. I am available all night if that would that anything would suit her. If we, if you can start tonight, then tomorrow night. Yeah, uh, sent. Excellent. Uh, have you seen JJ this evening? I ask the ghoul. Uh, my prince. Uh, she is uh, upstairs. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. I'll In your current her. situation, you know she stays. She does not yeah. go to wherever she calls home. This might just be her home. You don't really know. Uh, you know nothing about JJ's personal life. You know nothing no. about who he's she really is. Oddly respectful of her. I mean, he's sort of. I mean, he, he's anything but intrusive when it comes to pretty much everyone else, including his oldest and dearest friends. Okay. Let's find out how we're going to be able to bug Shiv's office, but we'll we'll find a way sooner or later. Uh, but he just hasn't actually, yeah, pushed that point there. So he wheels himself to the... Uh, wait. I don't have an elevator. I will cover you, my liege. Ah. Excellent, sir. Uh, it... I was like, I'd be carried up the stairs like, this is just so incredibly humiliating. <laughs> it really is. But you see all, like, the house schools, uh, they avert your eyes. Um, almost like to show respect of your situation. It's like, this does not happen. Put down in his, his wheelchair, up, the upstairs wheelchair, and we, wheel in to see JJ and his aunt as he just goes, Rosebud. That's <laughs> <laughs> a vintage movie. Um, uh, uh, good evening, JJ. 
Good evening, Manish. How are you feeling? Tad, tad more mobility in the upper body today tonight. I'm, Hope I'm that glad. the feet will start listening to orders by tomorrow night. Good. Uh, I've put in motion trying to identify the culprit behind this. Since you expressed your firm desire to have some form of retribution vindicated upon him. There needs to be... There needs to be. If you want to handle it, you may. But if not, I have a suggestion of handling it in a more classic Ventru way. Which will also, I think, be agreeable to you. Uh, are you, are you going to delude this information? I'm, Devel Devel going, to, I'm going, to, going to have him arrested. I, I fail to see how this is retribution. Sir. Oh, trust me. You've never spent a night in lockup, have you, JJ? Not in this decade. It can be a most dangerous and violent place. Especially if we have certain abilities to make people do as you command them to do. <laughs> We'll get him locked up on a Friday or Saturday night. The pan's going to be full. And we'll implant some sub liminal impulses in his fellow inmates. And let them take it out of him. Incidentally, I'm planning on having him arrested for a shooting at a police vehicle. So we need an unregistered, uh, untraceable handgun that we can use to shoot up a cop car. Of course. I, I trust in your in your capabilities. I am just I would have done this differently, Madish. Yes, but uh, like I said, we cannot we cannot kill him. We cannot risk having an open war with those zealots now. Not with these religious fanatics in the city. It's... And how are we faring with that? Are we happy for this Mr. Castor and his mummy to stay? It clearly has ruffled the, the Queen's feathers. Yes, a bit unfortunate uh, that, even though if anyone deserves to have a arrogance ruffled a bit, it should be her. But I'll play nice, make up nice with her in a couple of days. Hopefully we can get rid of them soon. But the reason that I hear are so incredibly important to them that denying them entry would probably only see them try to slither in unnoticed. And if there's one thing those people can, it's hide in the shadows. I just know from the more I've done research on Chicago, it had an effect on other kindreds, my liege. Kindreds as well, not just mortals. No, it's, he has a way of pers persuading. As far as I know, he has yet to leave the hotel for anywhere else than the exhibition site. Is that correct? I mean, as far as I've gathered from my surveillance, he hasn't been gallivanting around all tone all over the place. Of course not, but you just you just now let him legally stay within the city walls. Now he can freely gallivant, meet wherever he so pleases. If we his, need to keep an eye on him. If others believe that he is whatever ridiculous nonsense he claims himself to be, he could create some of the same problems Chicago had. Yet if you throw him out, he might do so still. Don't make a There's... martyr out of him. That's, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying... He might be a problem. I guess we're going to need... Uh, these followers of him, do they ever leave the hotel? Mm. They do. Have they gained anyone once they've been here? 
as far as my intel goes they seem to be tracking um places of aa meetings halfway houses etc prey upon the weak it is the cultist way of doing things they are like a swarm of locusts in that sense let's just say that we can use this little upcoming plan we have uh, jj to impose some shall we say sharpish curfews measures on upon them we are looking for a scapegoat after all to, for the attempt on my life so hmm. i would very much like to meet this philip caster in a more yes in-depth interview have him come here do you think it would be best or would you like to see him in his more natural habitat i would very much like it for me and and mr nightingale uh observe him not not him knowing that he is being investigated We'll make it so. Do you need to have a, a meeting range with someone else to, so you can observe? If a, a place or location that makes sense that it isn't so clearly avert that we are looking hard at him. I'm sure you can find a suitable van, van, venue. There needs to be a reason, Malish. If I come calling or Mr. Nightingale come calling, his radar and suspicion will be very high. I could in always initiate a, an invitation. A more formal greeting. Oh no, I mean a more informal greeting in to the city. Plus they do they do wish me to do them a favour, so there's always that. May I come with a suggestion, Madish? Of course, please. To be sure that there's no foul play in how he... I know that just the cars went through him and dissected every part of him, but my senses are at high alert, Madish. There's something there that is itching my brain i think if we invited to uh, some sort of a tell uh, tell all uh, like an occult evening of lore hmm. to hide it in plain fact to see if there is something there we can pick up on sure if there Sounds is something there, it might be reasonable. my general suspicions of things. Mm. I don't no, think no. he was innocent in the whole Chicago incident. To just blame it on human fanatics is too easy. And I know that Jessica did a good job. I just think Castor is much more clever, much more of a black cat, much more of trickier. Course, there's also a second possibility that he himself believe himself innocent in such a word and cannot be caught. he has caused chaos by his mere presence and that's why mr nightingale and his gifts might be beneficial for such an experience oh you make a good point set it up uh, arrange it with mr nightingale anyone else to make it not so if it's just me and Mr. Nightingale and you, and, and then it's going to be again a blankly obvious that we are looking for cracks in this veneer. Well, I mean, naturally, if, if such a discussion were to be made, uh, this vintage would be a natural interest, but that would just raise suspicions even more. Perhaps the crow might fit. He has a certain general knowledge of the esoteric arts and might perceivably have some sort of interest. Uh, anyone else that would lessen the, what well, should we say, suspicion? 
Oh, well, uh, Miss Price, of course. Yes, she is certainly acquainted with them being their de facto landlady. How much we can trust her in this matter, though, that's a different question. But yes, that's a good idea. She almost mm -hmm. like she's looking like weird at you. Hmm. Are we that suspicious of... Not of her, but if these have a way of subtly influencing Kindred, they are staying in her hotel and she's definitely within their sphere of influence. But then she most definitely needs to be... We need to speak with her. Dear Prince, she needs to be in a know. We need to vet her so she's not infected, as we say. Let's hope it's not some sort of malady of the blood. We, yes, uh, well, the have you have any other suggestions? The city does not need a cancerous incident as, at Chicago is. It is too close to the Anarch incident. If we let an uncontrolled, fanatic event happen so close to, to that victory, the city and you, my leash, will be perceived as weak. And the queen, I fear, will start moving her pawns. I have had some discreet information about our dear queen. It seems that she is worried. She fears that someone are uh, making moves against her. Perhaps she should be If it's invited. paranoia, I, I don't know. Perhaps she should be invited to this. Perhaps. Maybe yes. we can uh, kill two birds with one stone, my liege. Yes. Uh, at what time? When did you, you first, would you like to have this? Meeting? As soon as possible. Tomorrow night? Excellent, my liege. Then I can talk to her, invite her personally tomorrow. You need to give her one day. You give her one day to cool off after last night. Things did not go swimmingly. I'm afraid that she waxed my temper Malish, too much. You did not provoke the queen. Not as such. But I refused to cowbow to her. I took, I took my princely right to settle the matter. She should be happy with it, but I, I think she will not be. Are you confident that you have not poked the bear, my liege? No, but I'm confident she won't do anything immediately, and I believe that well, you might. We might turn it around, especially if my plan of portraying myself as one who fears that someone is moving, moving after me and taking her into my confidence that I'm sure no, lo sure that I'm no longer believe that it's her that she, she is involved. I mean, after all, in a couple of days, my fears will be proven to be correct. And she will probably believe the fact that I fear for my own safety. You see, uh, uh, JJ has a very worried frown mm. on her face. A worriedness that actually gives you flashbacks to the first night when she fought so hard to save you three. You see it almost like you can see the cocks and almost like her eyes dance back and forward. But I don't see, uh, but I do believe it must be her paranoia. Do you see foresee anyone in this city trying to make a move against the queen? Against I the cannot. queen? I cannot. No. I do not know what she's worried for. My prince. If I was a betting person, it would be you. Mm. But why on earth would I risk that? It's not... That it's not like I have a particular strong hand against her. And I think she knows that despite her age and her generation and her power, the city would not feel at ease with her ruling it. Oh, 
I'll keep, I'll bite my tongue on this one. I am fearful that it's just my fear that's leading my chain of thoughts in this matter. Mm, I do not primary. like the queen sitting in her dark little caves left to her own devices. I prefer to see my enemies. problem with that one is you can look straight at her and still have no idea where she is. I know somewhat of her needs and wants. If you have any idea of something she desires and needs and that could be delivered to her. I thought, oh no, it's not sure something you can it. deliver. Well, her child, she has that now. Yes. I'm thinking it's time that we Probably introduce and honor her offspring as well with a formal debutante ball. And I think that might be where the pressure point is. The Queen loves the stage. She loves the performance. She loves the dramatic of the narrative. We'll. And book don't the not entire... forget. She used to be the keeper of secrets. In her vault, there are many dark things, sire. Oh. There are many kundas within the city that would fear to go against her. Fortunately, we do know somewhat of her own skeletons as well. But yes. Uh, but yes. Uh, talk with the. Talk with the. Uh, I'll talk to Mister Nightingale. Yeah, and arrange things. Are you to invite the guests personal? Would it seem better if it came from Miss Price? Less, yes, actually. Better. I think. She might have some vested Ask. interest in this as well. Yes, yeah. a, a good way, a good way, my liege. I'll get on to the other details. Excellent. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to Miss Price. Have her extend the olive branch, so to speak. Oh, and Catalina Murdoch is coming by for an audience at some point this evening. Oh, I did it. No, it's not easy. Excellent. Well, I shan't keep you. Uh, are you calling Miss Price the second or are we waiting? No, I'll, uh, I'll uh, wait a little bit. But then the camera's going to pan out to shit. Um, is Eve still there or she's gone? No, she has been actually uh, uh, doing some of your uh, new artwork and fashion that has been arrived. Uh, you have been receiving a ton of gifts from these young musicians and artists that now consider you their muse. Mm -hmm. And Eve is a little bit like, she's not huffing, but she's like, <sighs> she wouldn't huff to you. No, no, no. But you she know, probably... she... Yeah. The, the, the level of jealousy sometimes with her. Yes. <laughs> oh, just just face it. How is it coming along with the apartment? You've, because you've been moving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're nearly finished, mistress. Okay, because I would have said you could store it there until we sort it out. Well, it should be enough room there. Should it not in one you of wish the... Uh, yes, I'm sure there's, there's space for this. She's looking at like a painting that's absolutely bizarre. It's something. I'm sure it's tasteful. Do you not judge other people's work like that, Eve? Of course not, Mrs. I do not understand it, so I would not try. That was, I will sass at a later <laughs> point. Yeah, that was sass. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> um, did you 
thought it was a girl yesterday. Because she was supposed to, to get her... Yeah, I yeah. think I she would probably have done, but because we skipped, it's... Yeah. Yeah, it's also the store and everything else. Set up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to set up an apartment to get her settled. Yeah. 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 Uh, she is... Uh, her apartment is in order. Um, not all of her things, but uh, she has uh, a place. Good. I was actually thinking, and I'm just let me run this idea past you. I need someone else to. Well, anyway, I was thinking of inviting a few people over tomorrow night. And I wanted to invite the Queen. Because mm. I I talked to Christopher. And Christopher let me know that, well, I foresaw this, but I didn't say anything, that our guests might have offended her because they were trespassing on her territory. So I was wondering if it would be a good idea to invite her over to maybe smooth things up a little bit with them. Just to have like a meet and greet sort of thing. Do you want me to formally invite the Queen? No, I will call her personally. Oh. But I would like you to speak to Sakura and the guests and invite them. At what time so, now? Just like an early evening sort of thing so it doesn't it, sh it shouldn't take all night but just i just wanted to extend some sort of formal introduction between the two i mean after all they are looking for something on her domain not that i don't believe that they will <clears throat> speak to her about that but i think it's not a bad idea when i'm listening to myself say it out loud no it is a good idea yes do that you wish to call the Queen? Yes, please. I am not sure she has a phone with her, but we will try. If not, drop by with a note or a letter. Two seconds, I'll pick up a pen and a paper and I'll write a little note, like just formally extending an invitation to a very small kind of gathering uh, in hopes of lightening the mood of everyone involved preparing the opening of this exhibition um, I think she will appreciate the old fashioned way of inviting probably I forget myself sometimes how old they are You go. I will get this on my way immediately, Miss Rose. And yes, if you do that, then I'll call Sakura myself. That'll be fine. She wanders off, uh, and you call up the apartment of Sakura. Uh, don't, don't. I do have her yeah. private mobile phone. Oh, uh, yes, you so do. You can I think call. I will call, call her on that. Her. Yeah. Uh, and then you hear Miss Price. Sakura, have you settled? You've said that everything was prepared? Yes, uh, I'm still lacking some of my personal belongings. But the weather was harsh. And yes, I'm sure now, when everything's easier, the rest will arrive. Good. So, I actually have, I'm trying to set up a meeting tomorrow night, and I really do hope that you have the time and interest to be there. Of course. It is uh, the Queen of Bones and Interesting. the guests. Yes. I was wondering if I that should might invite be, yeah. the Crow as well, but... I might exclude him from this. I don't know. Depends what kind of meeting you're looking for. 
I am trying to smooth over a mistake that, well, no fault of mine, but nonetheless, and I think with yesterday's enlightened conversations with you, I don't see it being a bad thing being on her good side for the foreseeable future. She will be uh, the biggest dog in the room. Yes, she will. And I think she will like that. That means the rest of us need to walk a tightrope. Well, I will just be my lovely bubbly self. But yes. <laughs> what did the prince do? <laughs> Uh, as, he as snorted. We, <laughs> as, as we have, uh, have agreed upon, um, but also I need to be announced. Of course, of course. So um, I will only be a guest to this. Yes, but as a clan member, of course. I think the queen would think it strange if it's just me. To be honest. Do you think it would be more comfortable to invite the crow or not? Because I can, but I don't want to put you in a... I am fine. Position. I'm fine with my maker. Maybe I will extend the invitation to him as well then. After all, he is interested and has some knowledge in what they are proclaiming to... to know. So it might be... I am sure, uh, Miss Price, at this moment in time, with these new arrivals, there are a lot of talk. This is information that functions like coins. This information now will be traded. Definitely. That is true. What you would do in this situation is all for information that could be traded. So how you conduct yourself in this is very important so you do not look weak or uncertain when it comes to the meat of them and her. What your role you take as just a mediator, well then you need to know a role of a mediator. If there will mm. be quarrel on your domain, you are solely responsible for that insult and the queen might look at you as an instigator. If this happens on different ground, you're not responsible. Hmm. Word of advice, as my father told me. Have Don't be the nail to the hammer. Be the hammer, No, Miss Price. And where would you suggest having this little meeting great to... Not Just here. Well, I would say is... the, the prince's domain. Oh. Well, then it turns into a big thing, and I wanted it to be more private. I didn't actually want to have that many people. Or do it at an Elysium, or do it somewhere else where you are not solely responsible. You are just an accommodator. Hmm. You're not hold responsible if it goes wrong. If this goes wrong on your domain with the Queen of Bones, the leader, the primogen of the Nosferatu, things might get very complicated, very fast. True. Maybe I should take a minute and not be so rash. I, I adore the thinking, and I agree with what you want to do. But you have to think of all outcomes of this. And I wasn't, because I did didn't think of that at all. I was just thinking small meet and greet, it would be nice. But yes, it is after all Queenie we are talking about <laughs> and things might not be as nice as I I come from a, a political and also an artistic family from a human life. Half of them turn into advocates, diplomats and politicians, the other ones artists. Both are powerful, and you could be both. 
you just have to decide the role to be the entertainment or the the jester or the smart advocate or the politician miss rice mm. I shall take a minute, but I will call you back. I hope I'll give in good counsel and show my value to you. Definitely. Oh, I do have something else. And I wouldn't ask this of you, but I thought maybe it would amuse you. Hmm. Alexander uh, has a potential... Well... He wants to show off one of his friends from New York as a potential clans member. Huh. And I thought it might be a good thing to know a little bit more about this person before meeting him. Give me the name. Marco Hamilton. You can hear she was riding. It, also, her riding sounds like like art. <laughs> it's just a, like the sound. You, you can hear your beast when you hear the pen. It's almost like mm. a quiv. Ugh. <sighs> Like, like almost like a, like t- tickle tickle tickles the brain when you hear the beat like yes more of that please suit <laughs> I will prove my value as a young thing as you are we need to I'll prove to you what I can do thank you of course and I do hope that I, or you will one day form in the same regards and esteem as I hold you. I intend to, and that's also why I'm giving the advice with the Queen. I want her, of course, taken down in due time. I don't want her to be dangerous with now my allies. No. And I know that I have... Uh... Well, I think I've ruffled her feathers enough not to be interesting for her, if you know what I mean. I don't see her seeing me as a threat. And I still would like to hold that. No. Yes, and we do not want that. But that's also, I think, my my intention of, of inviting them, that she might see it as a good thing, but... Thank you. Just I, I did. I needed the reminder of who she is. Excellent. When when you know, let me know when I'll be there. Talk soon. Good. And I think that's <laughs> like, like I'm like picking up Eve, like calling Eve immediately. Uh, Miss Ruth. I hope you haven't gone far too far. Can you no, just no, come? No, Good. I'm just going to spend a little hour thinking about that note again. Yes. I am sorry, Eve. No, no. need to come back. No, no, no. I adore all the whims of my mistress. <laughs> and she says it like, like I, I do. She does. She, the blood dolls. No, the dolls. The slaves. <laughs> They're ghouls. I don't know if she enjoys that or not, but yeah. Hmm. As she hangs up, though, at this point, is Chris calling? Well, gotta get this ordered. She's got a... Yeah, and he calls. As you hang up with him, you see your phone. It's like, you're like... Ee-ee-ee-ee. <laughs> yes? Ah, Shiv. Who oh, is the night treating you? Well, I hope. I just got up. You? Oh, you know, the life of a prince. <laughs> actually, I'm calling to ask a bit of a favour from you, actually. What do I get in return? My undying gratitude. Mm, okay, fine. What do you need? Uh, well... You see, I would like there to be a sort of bit informal meeting with uh, our dear new guests of the city. And 
Mr. Nightingale and uh, probably JJ and maybe we should invite the Queen of Bones as well. I mean, they do need to make him some sort of apology to her for their minor transgression. Mm -hmm. So a bit of little uh, talk out about that. Just one quick side note to this storyteller first. Did JJ specify anything more about what she wanted the pretext to be other than just a sort of... Something occult? occult? Oh, no, yeah, an introduction of the lore yeah. of the mummy. Like, th yeah, yeah. Th like, it just, it, like, it placate to the yeah, fact yeah. that, like, he thinks he's reincarnated. Yeah. Like, I mean, so... it perhaps it would be, yeah, it perhaps it would be good if he sort of explains his presence in the city so people do not think that they are here for some nefarious purposes no i guess potentially trying to reunificate your soul to be the long lost bloodline of cain might be construed as nefarious by some but well what's the answer to that actually being true i mean come on mm -hmm. oh shit i just jinxed it didn't i anyway yes i'm not I think saying that anything. would be i think that would be would be in everyone's best interest to get to to allay some fears and some uh, doubts and some misconceptions. Well, and then you might also get to clear up the little misunderstanding between them and and Queenie. Yes, exactly. I'll need to talk to her as well, but I think that would be best to me. I think it would be best if I myself is not present at this meeting. After all, if the prince seems to be the one, what should we say, doubting his own decision, that would look not particularly well. Mm. I need to sit down with the Queen of Bones, but I think I should do that in a more personal well, tat -a tat Then I sp there might be a way of doing both. What if... Oh. What if you open up your house to me entertaining this? I fear that the Queen of Bones would not particularly want to come to me. What if I... I think she expects me to come to her, to be quite frankly. Quite frank, I think. But we could perhaps find some more neutral ground that still lies within at least well, I mean, I could probably arrange. Yes. Do you know the private wing at the museum? I could probably arrange that we could meet there. And I'm also, they do have an auditorium. I, I, I have no clue if this man would like us to, like if he, what sort of venue he would prefer, but... No, but that's a good idea. I mean, after all, of it's art situated. And also in a neutral, well, no, well, yes, it is a neutral ground, yeah. sort yeah, of. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's technically situated. I mean, it is, it is sitting the on top of the Elysium. Elysium. So, yes, exactly. Which is, after all, the Keeper of Elysium is of the Queen's clan. It certainly would not Should be. be can, can certainly not be construed as being summoned somewhere. But it's it also would be natural for me to be able to oh, entertain yes. this there. Yes, excellent. And we are also securing that no one does anything foolish. Aha! Uh, almost gonna give an XP there. Ah, you're you're <laughs> a very smart lady. That's very I'm smart with so. uh, with actually the museum. I'm gonna give you that. I didn't think of that. That's but, funny. oh, shit. No, but... Techno, even though it is... It's not the Elysium. I mean, it's still connect. Well, it is, because they couldn't use the powers in Season 1 mm -hmm. there, so... Nope. But can the Queen still wear her nose? I'm sorry. Well, it, but... It's in the middle of the night. The museum isn't open. No, but still, there's night cards and stuff. No, I will, I will sort And they... Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Like yes, that's yes. Humans. Humans. I know, I know humans. Humans, humans. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 
But who else would you? I mean, if this is about the mummy, I guess. Oh yeah. Well, the probably crow. are people who are, the crow is interested in esoteric Hashimoto, knowledge. Hashimoto, maybe. Well, both him, him and the Vintas are naturally inclined to. And then we kind of sorted all, almost gathered everyone in town. Well. Yeah, we'll keep, else, we'll keep the winners out of it. We'll keep the winners out of it. She, her potential connections, uh, past knowing of them, probably wouldn't be. How big do you want this? Because no, not big, not big, not big. I think you have a good idea. You, if you host it, Queen of Bones will arrive. You have the guests, and the crow, and. Uh, there, Mr. Nightingale, and well, we can Why send Nightingale? Because of his position, it would be best for him to meet the newcomers and hear why they're here. I mean, given their troubled history, I'm certain he would like to have some of his worries later. True, true. And we do not wish this to turn into another Chicago. You have to tell me about that someday. Apparently there was some unrest, some trouble there. Though, as the castle was absolutely clear, it's hard to deny that he must have had some sort of connection to his eccentric religious beliefs. Regardless of what they can do for us, I believe almost anything I hear about them, to be honest. I tend to agree with you on that one, yes. Flashback um, to them eating Sam. <laughs> yep. Nom, nom, nom. I, I, I'm fairly certain that nothing would surprise me when it comes to those, or at least to him. True. Well, if this is what we do tomorrow, would that be too soon? No, tomorrow would be perfect, I'm sure. If I can, no, that won't be a problem. Yes. But you didn't want to come. Okay. JJ in your stead? Is I that... mean, I have already accepted into the city. They have explained themselves to me. I don't technically need to hear their explanation again. If you really think I should be that good. But like I said, I'd rather not make this seem as some sort of princely decree. It's a, it is to clear up any sort of misunderstanding and to... So you introduce them to a bit of wider, wider membership than the first introduction that night. Well, don't you worry. I will arrange it all. And I, uh, well, <laughs> you'll probably hear it all from your mommy. Oh, sorry. JJ. I mean JJ. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, <laughs> we can talk later about uh, me sending someone over to pick up the painting. Oh, you haven't, you haven't received it? Nope. Oh dear. I will no speak worries. with Eve. It was supposed to be sent already. I'm just sure apologize. it's number three's mind. I will sort it out as soon as possible. Excellent. Well, I leave this in your competent hands, Shiv. Thank you. And he moves thinking. and he sort of like he doesn't really feel pain but yeah. suddenly he realizes he's been leaning <laughs> and he's probably, probably leaning back. And doesn't know I love this. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On that little note as the conversation ends uh, we're going to have a quick break before we get to the other half of this episode. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> See you in a minute. Oh, bye.
Hi, and welcome back from the break. We uh, left these two beautiful uh, players as I had uh, yet another interesting conversation. You guys have such a like tug of war in this relationship. It's like you get tight and then you're like, no, nope! and then you get tight and then it's, you're like, no. Nope! It's just it's just my like sister brotherly love. Yeah, it's a little bit of sibling love slash sibling rivalry. I'm I'm so here for. Plus, it. they don't, they don't so, have the unifying. It's so cute that you uh, think that you're going to win. But I don't see it as a competition. <laughs> see, we need. This is why we need Sean. <laughs> to balance just, it out. Just wait for the guest. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. All right then. Uh, don't be a bit werewolf, please. It's not a werewolf. I can promise you that. <laughs> I, I prefer a werewolf from one to another to, to another Tremere. I can promise it's not a Tremere. I uh, actually. Uh, a wraith more? No. It is not. Uh, you will be quite. You will be quite surprised. Probably a changeling. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be fascinating. All right then. Uh, we're gonna start uh, where we left off, uh, and we're gonna focus a little bit in on Chris as the conversation ends, and his thoughts on that, or what he does next. Ah, well, that was easier. Hmm. I need to have a little quick phone call. Actually, I need to talk to JJ. <laughs> quickly, but just just quickly call her. Uh, immediately, because she answers, because you yeah. are her Elise. And she, my prince. Uh, it's been arranged. Uh, Shiv uh, Juan Price will extend an invitation and uh, hold, hold the meeting in the private wing of the museum. She will Excellent. invite people. Uh, tell me, actually, how, how, what is the surveillance situation like at the museum? Uh, it's, it's got a quite high level of surveillance, at the matter of the artwork. Mm. And who's in charge of that? Is it uh, the Keeper of Elysium's job to ensure protection of the entire building? Traditionally, yes. Good, good, good. I just wanted to make sure in case we would like to review said tapes at a later moment in time. Oh, I Might understand, well. sir. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, that was all. Thank you. And after that, I'll see how he's got any more information about Catalina when he might expect her graceful presence. And speak of the devil. One of your personal ghouls enters and says, uh, a Catalina Murdoch is here to see you, Malik. Excellent, send her in. Immediately. We do not wish to make her wait. And again, he like, gets a lot of paper in front of him. Look, 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 it's a given reason not to get up. Yeah. La, 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 la. She walks in. She doesn't look distressed or worried or anything else but her casual self. She's wearing a black tee, leather jacket, ripped denim pants, combat boots. Uh, she looks like business. Hair loose for James. Ah. Uh. Primogen, please, have a seat, have a seat. May I get you anything? No, thank you, my prince. Excellent. And how may I be of assistance this evening? I'm sure I'm not the first one come calling. Well, your first guest this evening, and it depends on what it is in regards to, of course. The new guests of the city, prince. Ah, yes, 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 yes. The... Eccentric Lazombras. Quite right. You know I have a seat at the table, my prince. Oh, yes. As we agreed upon. Of course. Ah, oh, you feel I should have conferred with you before granting them access to the city? I still feel the city is vulnerable. And I, I also have that. gotten information about a certain city that it turned into turmoil. Ah, yes, Chicago. I've been hearing a lot about that. 
Well, please. Did you, did you sit? Or did she, did she, she sits. She she leans, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. leaning her ass on the great table. She's not sitting on a chair. She's leaning. Okay. Oh, that's it. Fine. Uh, well, I'll tell you why I granted them temporary stay. It is quite easy. It was either to deny them, send them away, and then they finding some way of worming themselves back in, or God forbid, go to our rivals. Or to let them in and do be quit rid of them as soon as possible. I gambled on the second one being less problematic. Plus they are the La Sombra, you know. Clan as clan when you look at them as a clan, there are there are considerations to be taken there when it comes to their well, either allegiances or lack of allegiances, if you understand me. I need to know, dearest Prince, are we opening the door to that clan? No, 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 no. This was... How much do you know about them? You looked up into the interest of their past, of course, but do you know of his rather peculiar religious beliefs? Vaguely. Well, he is quite convinced of them. Have you had much dealing with religious fanatics before? I try to stay away. Mm. Not my So do tea. I. But one thing I guarantee is that they do not take no for an answer, and then they just find another way. I'd rather have them close in here for a couple of weeks and then have them be gone, rather than to deny them entry to the city and have them scurry off to our enemies and make some sort of deal with uh, them to get in. If you see what I mean. But if you would like to meet them, I'm certain I could uh, arrange a meeting between the... you. Would you prefer to meet them with others, or would you prefer a private a little tete a with them to vet them personally? I'll I'll do that in my own way, Prince. Uh, you will do the Ventura way. I will do the Bruja way. And between us, I'm sure we will cover it most thoroughly. But I would appreciate if you, amongst your contacts and knowledge, extensive knowledge, city, if you do seem. To notice any sort of, what should we say, disturbances that might rem remind you of, well, what happened in Chicago, please alert me immediately. They promised to be on their best behavior, they promised not to create any form of trouble, and should they break that promise, of course. Of course, I'm just worried that this might open a door that should have been shut that we made sure that was shut is this a trojan horse my prince i'm confident that it is not what i'm not confident though is whether or not those two will how to put it unintentionally create some disharmony in the city. That is, a, that is of course, a possibility. She almost laughs. She taps the table. I can almost guarantee you of that. The La Sombra are in a, a tipping scale, a seesaw of their allegiance. Exactly. It will be known to other cities that you have granted these individuals stay. Don't be shocked if this has a trickle effect, my prince. If I was in your shoes, I'd have shown them the door. And if they don't take the door, they get the fist. If they don't want the fist, they get the stake. But I am not prince. You are my leash. And you rule as you see fit. But heed my warning. I do. And I do appreciate your concern. And trust me, it's not with a light heart that I accepted it. It was merely the lesser of two evil, I mean evils. There are talks, and... my prince, where they have situated themselves and who they already have offended. Yes. They have been given quite clear instructions to make reprimands for that little, little insincerity. And I do hope they so do. Make sure that this is not the straw that breaks the camel the back in your reign. You're young in this seat, Prince. Oh, I will not. 
But there are, of course, as you said, some wider considerations when it comes to members of the clan of La Zombra. One would not particularly wish to tip that seesaw too far in the opposite direction. As I said, that's a venture way of looking at the world, isn't it? Mine is very different. But I am not in that seat. You are their prince. And this falls on your shoulder. Have you as a crown indeed. But if there is any moves, I am sure you will abide with your agreement. She slides off the table like a cat. Aline gets a I... feeling of pain in his back looking at it. <sighs> Rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> Hmm. Well, if there's nothing else. Nothing else indeed, my prince. Take care of yourself. Stay healthy. Oh, I'll try. She's almost like she looks at you and almost like cat like eyes. That she's almost like you feel you're being scanned up and down. I smile like, yes, I'm afraid that I am in dire danger of paper cuts. I mean, it holds up a little. Mm. Sack of papers. You will have no idea. You have no idea of all the trivial matters one needs to attend to every night in this position. No, I would not. I would not, indeed, my prince. But then again, you do know the heavy weight of responsibility, being the one to steer and govern your clan. We both know the ruin. We both know what it's like to have obli- obligations to others. Yes, we do. It's it both. can be a heavy. It, it's a privilege, but also a, heavy, a burden, and it's not one to be taken lightly. No, and one shouldn't show weakness. To blink. Mm, no. But then again, I'm a bruja. Would I would I know of the venture way? No, oh, I think you know more than you give yourself credit <laughs> yeah. for. Take heed of my warning. I will. I bid you good night, her prince. She walks off very slowly, almost like cat like showing up her stride. He pushes his uh, like yeah. Uh, it's, it's probably one of those expensive uh, office chairs with a high back. Yeah. Almost almost like part lazy boy, part uh, work chair. He swivels it around. Well, good evening. <laughs> and he gives a smile and as he walks away, he thinks in his head, well, I, have, I hate a minute, but I do enjoy watching her walk away. <laughs> He's being, being sassy as fuck, but that's okay. He can't be sassy. That's uh, enjoy it while he can. It's gonna. It's, it's we, like, all know, we all know this is gonna end badly, anyhow. <laughs> this is not me dancing. This is me digging. <laughs> uh, we know who's the storyteller in this game. We all know it's gonna end yeah. with someone crying. Probably all three. All three. Well, from that, she never does. No, it doesn't happen. Camera pans out back in. To Shiv's domain. As she finished off the conversation. She's got shit to do. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah. No. She's going to like. You better come here. I need to tell you something. Yes. But she, she, she gets back from her short car drive. That, where she basically turned around. And came back again. And, and like mistress. Yes. I have something a little bit more exciting. Mm. And I do. I'm sorry to you. You you're going to give her an invite, but there's going to be more invites than just her. Okay. And we need. We're going to borrow the Museum of Fine Arts tomorrow night. Wow. Yes. Yes. So we're going to have a little gathering with me. Well, the 
the guests. The Crow, the Queen, Hasimoto, Mr. Nightingale, JJ. I think, yes, I think these are the right amount of people. Um, because, yes, um, and we need to send a special invite to the guests. Well, Mr. Castor. Because he kind of has a role to play. Uh. I would like him to present himself to us. His history, oh. his endeavours. Yes, I think that's the gist of it. And I would really like to actually have it. Mm, I was thinking about the private quarter, but then I realised there is... A current exhibition, the masterpieces of the Egyptian era. I think that uh, would be fitting. That would probably be perfect, mistress. But I do believe we need something a little cosier afterwards. I don't think walking and talking with that kind of group necessarily is. So if you could have a little your magic. Uh, please, l let me do this for you, mistress. And if if you need assistance, I'm sure Adnan would be more than helpful. I will take charge on this one. And I, Are you I'll sure you proud. can do it? Of course. In such a short... It, I love short deadlines. I thrive on it. And Sakura, of course. Sakura is invited as well. Excellent, mistress. If there is anything, let me know. Of course, mistress. She seems very excited. At what Ooh. time? 12 o'clock. Perfect. People have time to do things before and after. Should be fitting. She runs off to do the invites, the invitations, uh, getting the venues ready. Getting Anything the guests is, ready. Getting the guests ready. Um, <laughs> what rest is on ship's man this evening? She would like to speak with William, but Marianne doesn't know how she can speak with William. Mm. Um, because I don't, I can't remember. Did they have any line of like communication or getting? Like, they just shows him up. Just shows up. Yeah. They just shows up. Yeah. Oh, I think I think I'm good then. I mean, I think she'll probably say good night to to Aiden, and, or maybe Trixie, or maybe not Trixie. Um, but she won't consume the blood. She won't do anything. Uh, oh, she calls. Uh, she calls. Even says extend the invite, Alexander. There is a light knock. Uh, or a buzz, because you have an elevator into your... To, and you have a camera to see who's buzzing. Mm -hmm. And you see it's Callist Callisto. I'll open. So she comes up, you let her in the elevator, she come, you come see her. Oh, okay, like that. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yes, yes. She walks in, she's wearing this batik covered tank top. Big flowy uh, skirt, hair down to her waist again. Big earrings, lots of like necklaces, and she's. How are you faring, dearest? Siobhan. Yesterday, you mean? Yes. Am I allowed to say refreshed? In a Glad. way. She walks over and grabs your hand, and then again you feel this warmth and connection to her. The moment she does it, you feel like she is like a someone you know. It's deep, thick as blood, meaty. It's just this tangible interaction with her. I know it was a great ordeal for you to see, to experience. 
him do you mean or your friend? Which part? <laughs> she does. The one you loved. The one you called her. Mm. The herd you threw in the nether. The ether. The gauntlet. But I'm not here. long him. time since I've seen him like that. And you can see him again. And he can be reborn. I know. A good supply line. I know you have doubts. I can taste it around you. Your aura speaks of suspicious thoughts. I do not have another agenda. I promise you, you can use your powers on me. Strip me bare and naked. Look into my mind. Taste of me if you like. My intentions are clear. I am here for the lovers. Rebirth is all. You coming in here saying these things. You must be either stupid or just complete, completely crazy. No. Or just honest, as you claim. I am honest. Because if I do either of those things, I will see the truth, and you I, know that very I well. I know that. I, I, I invite you. I invite I'll take you. a look of her hair, and I just... Have it all, if you so please. I am also <laughs> stripped in two. A part of my soul is not complete. I am to be reborn as Nefer Amun and Hortip's true lover. And is that all you are? The two... No. Oh, she almost laughs at twelve. Touches your hand, touching her hair. I am two parts. I am this, but I am also him. I want to be whole. I want to be me completely, not ripped apart, longing, missing that part that's in the dark. I let her go and I turn my back and I just walk into the apartment. You see right through me, don't you? I see you. I see you, that is my gift, and I see you. You long, but your soul is ripped in two. Like one part of you is in the darkness, and one part is stuck here, feeling the earth underneath your feet. Not whole, never content, always hungry or thirsty. Sleep never makes you feel rested. I understand you. Hundred percent, I do. I am not a Trojan horse. I am not a liar, a charlatan, someone who sells snake oil. I am Going true. To do... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, talk, baby. Just talk. Uh... Okay. Oh, oh, <clears throat> okay. Um, fuck. I have these little nice little. It's it's the good ank. It's not the skull, but I have two of them and three normals, on just the insight, not a power use, just insight. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> critical success. So sorry. Ugh. To okay, myself, but, probably. Fuck. Yeah, but then, uh, then, then you automatically, it's just because like, you have this Galadriel effect, you automatically turn around, but you all specs this time. You turn around and, like, the, like, again, it looks almost like hair goes a little bit redder, like it, like, it elevates a little bit, and you turn around and you, you can't help yourself. It's like, it's almost like you wanted to shut up, but you wanted to keep talking, but you're just like, I need to know she lies. And you turn around and you full go sense on hidden. The sense hidden. Mm -hmm. It's like you cannot help yourself. It's like you just like you need to know. And your eyes go almost white as you do so. And you see she breathes. 
there's nothing except her. There's a little bit of a, almost like a faint purple hue around her. Like she glimmers. But there's nothing hidden. Did not Almost like your power like that. blows her hair a little bit back. It's, yeah. it's supernatural. So she's like <gasps> Do a rush check though, because Mm-hmm. Oh I failed that one. You burned it. And then yeah, you you like you you beast goes like ah oh, she smells now. not want to cause you harm. I am here for the lovers. You ache. You are tormented by this spirit. The girl in the shadows. I see her. She doesn't understand her sacrifice was holy. I could help her go where she needs to go. I'll extend a hand, just, I'm just holding in front of me. She doesn't understand what she did was to for the greater good. To lay down one's life for the Eternals, for the Divine, for the lovers you did no wrong. The soul is just confused. If you saw Sam, he was not confused. He did not linger, he knew. If she doesn't do anything, I'll just retract my hand. No, she 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 grabs on and holds and like she 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 touches it and she like she goes close. She grabs your elbow and she'll go nearer, and nearer, and, and like shoulder hair. She cups your face. This is dangerous. What do you do? You know what I want. It is not Both dangerous. in the moment and for the rest. I am not life. afraid. And I'll smell her neck, like yeah, very close, and I'll smell her neck. Oh, but she grabs the back of your head. Says, I am not afraid. I do not fear. I have seen what you are. It is beautiful. Take it if you need it. I am a servant. I'll gently kiss her neck before sinking my teeth into her. You hear like a, a like a gasp of pleasure and she grabs on. It's very like sensual, erotic and beautiful. And the beast is like, yes, <laughs> this is what we wanted. This is yummers. Mm -hmm. And it is actually incredibly beautifully like intimate. And it's somewhat like you, f you feel a part of her. You feel her heartbeat. You feel her, the sense of her. You feel her conviction. And it's almost bizarre how much she believes it. You're I think... more of a cynic. How can she be this pure? Nothing mm. is this pure. And I think for Shiv, I mean, drinking of someone, I think like the whole dance of it, it's... it's interesting but sh at least when you're like do you know what it what it does to you how how out of control you are how little these humans can actually decide of what happens but she is oh, offering it up even though she is blood bounded to someone else it's feel strange yeah it just feels it's, it's it's beautiful it's forbidden it's but okay. i think she feels like this is she chose like she chose it yes yeah exactly which is not not a rare thing for these creatures not a rare or rare 
rare. Oh, it is rare. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and she she gave it up, and she's so so, so pleased to do it. Like grabs onto you, like pushes the chest to yours, and it's just like engulfs in you, and it's again, she, this is what she's doing, and and giving her hope of, of pushing her boundaries or showing her there is others that believe as she does and the one thing that you feel from Callisto there's no guilt she doesn't feel bad about what she wants and it doesn't seem like she feels like it's a dark struggle you're getting so much like ridiculous hope from her it's also then we're going to a little bit of the resonance in the blood but she feels now is incredibly lifted. You feel very powerful. Your auspex is now higher. I was like, go have more die. Hmm. Do I need that? Okay, cool. In case you do. Yeah. For right now, you have a lesser. Yeah. You have a, a an extra die. I think that's how it works. But uh, the resonance mm. is, you feel uh, light. There's like the melancholy. She's often feels of like oh, another night in this hard yeah. place it's like this freaking creature is giving me a hope such a massive hope mm. and she lets you like well you let her go you lick her neck yes obviously she she kisses you on the mouth and and just really like like puts her head to yours Thank and just you. hold her yeah. close and just like pull her hair a little bit Thank you, she says. Thank you for the trust. This ritual is so beautiful. I needed this. I needed you. And I rarely need anyone. I don't know what it is you do to me, but... Castor is incredibly lucky. No. Common. <laughs> Le ferme and who's that? Because you do understand, right? And I understand oh. you. We we need to be the ones we love. And we need to do what we need to do. I never um, overstepped. I I do apologize. No. Even but though it, I don't, because... Do not apologize for this. What we experience is pure. It's connection. There is the ritual of the blood itself. It's the intimacy. It's giving and receiving. It's life. It's connecting with the souls. I've never met anyone like you. I'm honored. It's... Refreshing. And I hope, I hope we can get what we need so you can be whole and I can be whole and he can be whole. There's one My... thing is with me and she taps your, your knees because you're sitting kneeled. I don't want to seem self-serving. But I so desperately need for him to be whole. He longs, he longs to be reunited with himself. It hurts me every night to see him looking into the darkness and not recognize parts of himself because they're not there. Like you do, I think. And I'm just thinking to myself, it's not me, then at least I recognize that from Aiden's. I cannot I... force you to do anything. No, you cannot. But you can try and convince me. And I can only do and that it... if you believe in me and if you think I'm honest and true I'm sure that you're kind 
which I do not condemn in any way. My love is one of the truest of them all. How suspicious. I do not Even, lie. Even if I don't know what I... I don't know what I think of this. That is the honest answer. But regardless, if I wanted this, if I believed all you're saying, which I am inclined to do, I am the least of your worries and concerns. It is Christopher you need to convince. And even, well, what you uh, want, where you want it to happen. I know. I do not condemn that place. I would rather hide that from the world than anyone who walks it for eternity. So if there is any other way, please think of it. That is your biggest hindrance. I know, but there cannot be darkness if there is not light. That place. It's pure darkness. No, it cannot exist if there is no light. You have not seen what we have. We do not know what lies beneath it. But with what lies beneath it is a part of the solution. Then I am afraid I do not know if... It is too dangerous Let for everyone. She grabs you. Do not fret and do not worry. No harm will come to this city or any who lives within it. For pure rebirth, there needs to be a sacrifice to bring back my love. You need to sacrifice a great, great thing. Do you understand? I think I do. But if you do not know what you're up against, how do you know how to defeat it? <laughs> you do not know my cast. My affair, Amon Hotep. He's a Lassamba. He's a Shadow Lord. He knows the Oblivion. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it that way. It is not strange and alien to us. It's what we know. But don't, don't fret, don't worry, dearest Siobhan. I will now speak with Christopher. Thank you, I Christopher. will find a way to his heart. He will see my <laughs> course is just. Oh, don't be afraid of that. Sure, he's seen a glimpse of it already. I'm sure he likes what he sees, just as if convinced me. I'm sure you will convince him. I am con I have convictions, I have determination, I am a priest, a priestess. I am a lover. I am a friend. A hold her. Confident. This is all your will. I. I know what the blood does. I see it in my own people. I took it willingly. I loved him before I took the blood. The blood was nece a necessity to keep me. So you're not a slave to it and him? Hmm. He, does, he wouldn't have known who he was if it wasn't for me. He's you see. I showed him. He didn't know. And I will show Christopher, the prince. He is you. 
this book. Longing. Yes, I will show him there's hope. His darkness, his boogeyman, is no match to the likes of me and a fair Amenhotep. Broken how? Longing how? He has something very, very dark and very scary walking behind him. His decisions are not always his own. She gets up and she kisses your hand. But sometimes you are not. You see right through us, don't you? I am just a humble servant. Thank you for sharing this with me. Of course. And I wish to give you so much more. She smiles again. She gets all giddy. I want to give you all. She spins around. I want you to be reunited with your love. I want you to see sunlight. I want you to have it all. You can't, like, oh. she... It, it, it's quite intoxicating how she is, and you want to get lost in it. But then mm. again, it's like... It's not your I want to chain her down and keep her to myself, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that's because she makes the, her narrative and the way she looks at life is just so fucking intoxicating as a kindred. I mean, it's it is like, like she's wanna... giving a shiv everything that she is, she's been lacking in and what she's been like cursing this life not to be. Yeah. And it's like. Oh, just give me the sweet nothing. So it's almost like, just give it to me. Let let me like let me. Even if it's a lie, it's the most beautiful lie. And just let me yep. sit in the light. Let me just whisper your sweet nothings. Let me just live in the world that you you believe in. It's like maybe Shiv doesn't believe in the world, but you think Callisto believes in that world, and that's fucking intoxicating. Mm. And it's easy to lose yourself in it. And right now, the beast is absolutely obsessed. So in that scene itself, looking from <laughs> afar, like Sorry. the camera pans out, is Shiv and the Beast is intoxicated by Callisto. It's they they how they touch each other and and there's there's no, there's not even magic in the room. It's just one person's absolute conviction. And Shiv drinking from the source itself now of the resonance of Callisto. She feels vigor. She feels alive almost. Like, I don't care if it's a lie. I don't care if it's bullshit. Just let me live there for a moment. The camera's going to see it again like they kiss. She kisses. Ah, mm -hmm. Now, I'm just wondering, is there any <clears throat> drops of blood, like, not ended up in Shiv's mouth? Oh, that, that might be a little bit like a little trickle. Yeah. Okay. I want to keep that trickle for later for someone. <laughs> Thank you. We will see it through. Shit. The lovers will be reunited and we will change the course of the dark time. There is a forever after, and that may be just that, a happy one. I want to believe in it as well. I wish I will have your conviction of this. Your vision of it. Just to your sight. Actually, that goes into the, that elevator. It's a choice, you know. <laughs> I choose it every day and every night. I will see the prince. I will go and see. Listen. You do. <laughs> On that note, actually, we're going to end this episode. Yes. 
so we will see um, if she calls the prince next. Oh, we push into the other night. Oh, oh, what happens next? Well, we don't know. We'll see. Nope. And Do I we am believe? So sorry, <laughs> the prince. <laughs> that was prince. So. I mean, that's what's coming. Oh, stealer of gifts. Stealer of <laughs> snack packs. <laughs> <laughs> she offered, and I was hungry. Um, yum yum. Well, yeah, okay, she snacked on another kindred school, but it was on her territory, and... Uh, okay, she it's, offered! It's, yeah, it's, it's fine. That's fine. It's fine. And it's no. probably there, the, like, it's... He, Castor probably sent her, let her feed a few, la la la, convince her. I don't know. That's what I'm convincing myself of, so it's okay. Uh, I was uh, just uh, falling uh, into their own plan. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. I was, the, I was the victim. I was the victim. Sure, we're gonna go with that. And yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, we see gonna what's gonna happen next. Uh, that's gonna be a meet and greet, and we're gonna see if uh, the Queen of Bones thinks this is uh, just as fascinating and reuniting of lovers and all that jazz. That's probably awesome because that's great. We love that. And uh, no, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Gonna, uh, what's gonna happen if uh, Callisto gets to the prince? Because he's been. She says, reuniting lovers, he has not specified which lovers. <laughs> hashtag Wild Rose, hashtag William. Oh my god. No. See. Oh. I mean, none of them deserve it. Like, he doesn't deserve it because he's evil. She doesn't deserve it because, again, he's evil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't he think this uh, has too much to do with it, but I <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just saying, stay tuned. Things might not be what you think they are. Yep. Really? And is she right? Should she trust Callisto? And I'm not uh... saying that specific to this. I'm just saying, just wait. For the pain, for the inevitable I hate inevitable those words pain. coming out yeah. of your mouth. <laughs> you have to think that this is a long story arc that I've thought about for years, and we haven't even started properly season. Well, we haven't started season three, and that's so sorry. Oh, it's it's gonna be insane. You guys are gonna go, oh my, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I want Sean like in back so he three, can get some of this pain. In, like in season three, you know for sure, like can all we, can, can we are forward back to season one? All gloves are off, like interlude. You're kind of safe. It's just we're telling fun stories, but in season three, yeah, Mama bought her her her, her grown up shoes. She's I stomping. Miss Paris. Yeah, and you will. It's gonna be so good. But on that note, thank you guys so much for your comments, likes, and follows. We appreciate it. Uh, you're part of our little community, and every every like, every everything, we so 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 appreciate. It. Thank you so much. And soon you will see another face here. Not yet. A little bit more, and then there's another face. For show. Sure. For show. Sure. My God, street. <clears throat> on that yeah. note. It I'm happens. just going to assume it's an agent. I don't know if it's street when we're like past uh, 30. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. And I'm white. It's horrible. What, what's actually, up, Marion? Past 30? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's polishing the stats. Oh, Someone's polishing the stats. XP, XP, XP. <laughs> On that Flattery note. will get you everywhere. <laughs> it will, it will, it will. She's going to she's gonna live and it's going to be beautiful. And she's everything's going to come to fruition. It's going to be right. a fact. Cool. On that sure. note, stay safe and take care of one another. Bye. Bye.